Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. So now we're going to talk about uh, the iPro set, which out of the 50 cuts that we have from the last last uh, season is uh, we have three cuts. So it's not a very popular formation evidently, unlike 10 years ago where it was the go-to formation for everything. It does change things a little bit. We will uh, have some a little bit more set keys because if you look on this side here, if they're going to run the outside zone here, which isn't a hugely popular goal line play, but it, but it definitely is something that they can run. And teams will try to exploit us because of the, uh, the overload on the tight end side. And before I go to how we're going to defend this, versus pro, we will have our free safety cover the tight end. The corner will cover the corners will cover the wide receivers again, and then we will bump over out of the stack look just a little tiny bit. We'll tell them to play it like it's our gap look, which is in our base defense, but but cheated about a half a man. So over here we'll have a five technique and a, and a three technique, you know. And if, if they're trying to reach us and run the outside stretch play, this warrior linebacker here, his key will be the fullback. His key will be the fullback. His key, once again, depending on what they're doing, but his base key will be tailback here. He'll be tailback here, hoping to see that in the corner of his eye any guards pulling. And over here, his key will be the fullback as well. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you real quick how we'll defend the outside stretch plays and then how we would defend the boot in this particular situation. So let's look at this outside stretch play. He's coming out here. He's gotta set this edge now. So he's gonna set the edge. Then we gotta have hope that our defensive end can beat the reach, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do, but our mic should be fast flow and should be able to clean up the mess right there. So let me, let me just wipe this down real quick and let me show you the, the stretch play to the other side real quick. You have to practice it. You know, power power is power, you know. Um, we, we can draw that up, but we definitely have enough guys to, to stop the play. But the stretch play, if if we have shut them down on the ISO, they will, they will come back to this. So now, what we're doing here, he is key in this tight end and he is key in this fullback. So if we're getting a reach block here by that tight end, now this kid knows that he's the force player. So he's what we call read force. You read the tight end, he's getting a true reach block, now he's gotta be the force player. He's key in this fullback. He's coming out wide. Definite run block, he's coming out for this fullback, but that fullback should not be going after him. If he does come after him, he'll spill that play and the full bet and the free safety should make the play on the bounce. If the free safety is getting blocked by that fullback, this brave should be able to come inside now and make the play. Who you're trying to who you, who would you hope get to that point first? Are you hoping the free safety gets there first or the backer? We want the backer to get there first. Okay. The backer should be able to get there first because he's key in that fullback. If this fullback comes in here and tries to isolate us, we're both here. Okay. If this fullback goes goes out here to run this stretch, he's here. If they're running power, if they're running power here, they're base blocking, base blocking, he's coming out, he's gonna spill this thing. He's gonna spill this thing along with, hopefully, our, you know, if they're running power, that's when we may put him in a nine technique. Okay. So he can be the main spiller, and then he's spilling the secondary guy, and he's making the play. All depends on what they're playing as well. The other thing is, 
he'll be a free guy as well. And we would have him spill everything out. He is going to come nice and tight and spill anything out for him. And if, and if he's spilling and he's forcing, he should be free and clear to come over the top on everything. So let me show you boot real quick. Just off of these basic rules. You know, like naked boot here. Warrior, if he's told to read the fullback, if they have this play in their package, we will tell him to ignore the guard. You know, and this may not be a very good play either, you know, based on uh, him hip pocketing that. But if they want to do that, let's just erase the guard. Okay, and they're doing a boot with him leaking out to the flat. He is all over him. He's all over him. So now he's coming out here. He's all over him man to man. He's man to man there. He's man to man. He's man to man. The same idea is if he's the lead blocker, he's out here to force that thing back inside. He's got to realize here he can't be a spiller. He's got to be the force player. Over here, he can be the spiller because he's got a guy that's a read force player. So that's the difference in the two linebackers' rules from that aspect. Now, if they want to run the boot over this side, it's a little bit harder. If he's going to block down and release out the flat, he's got to understand the difference between a reach block, a power block, and he's got to be on this. He's got to understand when he's going to the flat versus when he's coming to block somebody. And that it's true eye discipline. The, the, the path of the fullback is exactly the same as on a block mm -hmm. as it is on the boot. However, if he's not blocking anybody once he gets to the line of scrimmage, you know that you got to cover him. So his rule is he's coming inside out inside out oh he's not blocking me okay well i gotta find the football well it's a he's going away okay now i know it's boot i gotta stay on him that's why we will not have the two stacks read the tailback and that's why he'll read the tailback and it's it is it is mostly about sight lines and getting through trash exactly exactly and the players trusting the coach uh, and and I, you know, I can show a clip here, and this, uh, this exact play happened, and, and, and I, I don't know the formation. I think it was, I think it was uh, a tight end surface, but we had a, 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 a backer, and we had a free safety. He goes outside, he goes outside, and boom, uh, cut it back. But, but the problem was, he started over here. So this guy, this guy, when it's this surface with an eye, he's told to get outside the fullback. Right. Right? So now they trade. Now he's here. Now he's outside the fullback. So he knew when there's a tight end, he's outside the fullback. He knows without a tight end, he's outside the fullback. However, he had tunnel vision on that fullback. That guy trades, he ignores him. This guy needed to say, I'm force, I'm force, I'm force. And what happened? They Created both did what they were supposed to do, but his rule changed. Now, the great thing about it, the young man's an all-conference player, and it'll never happen to him again. So now we're in pro. It looks like here, we have a tight end here, we have a fullback here. We talked about how we use different ways to cover this. One of our ways is we'll cover that, uh, we'll use that free safety to cover the H-back. I believe they played him with an H-back. 
it could be one of those situations where he was a uh, they would come out and ace. Um, obviously, here's a, he's a fullback. So right here, he's keying this tight end. He's keying the tailback. These guys are helping with the, or he's on the fullback here. And you can see him being mirrored. Not the best technique in the world. Needs to make the tackle. We show you the good, the bad, the ugly here today. Sometimes <laughs> everything is in roses. What we would really want here for a better angle, because he is on this fullback. We want him to step up, we want him to spill it out, and him to get over the top, and him to make the play. Mm -hmm. We had somebody there, got to make the play. However, if we reverse the roles and have that free come over the top, it's a tackle. Yeah, because that will put the, the linebacker at the point of attack right away. Yep. Yep. Everything's great on paper. It always doesn't work like that, though. So what happens is that linebacker gets too wide. The free safety, he's a tough bugger now. He loved getting sticking his nose in there, but he stuck his nose in too much. When he came in here, he should have been in here. He should have been over the top. It would have been an easier play. 